when you look at kind of the success of the defensive end position here, mm-hmm. especially recently, yeah. Joey, Nick, Chase, mm-hmm. that core, that group, you know, what does it feel like to now officially be a part of that? I mean, you've been a commit for a long time, yeah. but now you're here and now you're, you're kind of in that, that legacy room. Yeah, well, that's part of it. That just shows you uh, what Coach Jay has done for the program, especially the defensive end position, and um, I hope to continue that legacy. So you stayed with Ohio State through transition. Mm-hmm. What would it have taken for you to decide, you know what, because sometimes coaching transitions happen. We know stuff yeah. changes for guys. What would it have taken for you to decide, you know what, things change down there. It's not for me anymore. Yeah, so um, the program the program kind of stayed intact, the strength staff, and then the main thing was Coach Jay saying, uh, and once uh, me, me, Coach Day, and Coach Jay had the home, in-home meeting, he told me Coach Jay was staying. I never wavered. So there was a little uncertainty and a little, like, uh, I was kind of scared, like, what is, what's going to happen, like, when Coach Meyer announced he was retiring. But uh, I committed to Coach Jay because of what he's done for me and what he's done for other players. So, What is it? You're not the first guy to say something like that about yeah. Coach Johnson. Mm-hmm. What is it? What is it about? Uh, just the way he cares for his players and, um, with all the schools I visited, no one, no one taught technique and was so passionate about it, about him, like the, that his technique and the players as much as him. And I just knew that he would treat me like one of his own, like one of his sons, and he would uh, embrace me and, and love me for me. So, 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 and I'm not, I'm not trying to get you to play in a hypothetical world, but it's just interesting that they basically changed the whole defensive staff. Yeah. Except for Coach Johnson. Mm-hmm. And that shows that just shows you how much Coach Jay respects him and how much he's respected in the college football world that he was the only guy that stayed. So But if he had not stayed, you would have had something to think about. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean I, I had something to think about even with him staying. So I just but I um, as soon as uh, he told me he was staying, because um, you always gotta you always gotta look at every situation and po- the, the outcomes of those situations. But um, he told me he was staying, and I was, I was happy about that. What do you think uh, as you're going through winter workouts and stuff here? What are you are you feeling like? Yeah, man, I'm good. Like I could, you know, I can hang with all these guys. Or is there something like, oh man, I really I want to make sure I work on this or work on that? That transition from high school to college. Yeah, there's the there's a little bit of both. Like um, there's some days where you're just like, yeah, I, I'm a Division one football player, and then there's some days like, man, like I'm way behind. So um, it's, you just got to find that balance because. Um, one of the things that Coach Johnson was telling me is like, there's going to be days where you're going to feel on top of the world, and there's going to be days where you think you're on the bottom. So just try to, just try to take the highs as highs and try to learn from the lows. So uh, I've been trying to do that as much as possible. Is it weird coming from high school where you're the guy? Yeah. You're a senior. You're mm-hmm. a recruit from Ohio State, and now you're at the bottom of the totem pole. You're having days like that where you feel yeah. you know, things aren't going your way. How, how strange is that given where you came from? Yeah, it's definitely being uh, a little different at the bottom, but I knew that coming in that I wasn't going to be at the top anymore. Every every guy came from the same background I did, highly recruited guy. I mean, it's Ohio State. Every guy, every guy is highly recruited, and um, I'm just going to keep on trying to work hard. How has Ohio State uh, measured up to what you thought it was? Be? Oh, it's everything. Everything I've wanted and more. The str- I didn't really get to know the strength staff before I got here, but in the recruiting process. But since I've been here, they've just been helping me out a lot, and I really respect them. How big a shock is that when you get in these workouts? Oh yeah, it's definitely um, definitely different. You don't know what, like what you're getting into, but um, it's been really beneficial to me. I can already tell the difference. You're hanging in there. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. No play hall. Oh no. Welcome. Nice to meet you. No, I'm I'm Brett Hill. Nice hey, to meet man. you. Love. Thanks. What um, What's been the biggest thing? in these early kind of sessions that stood out to you about either the, the game at this level or uh, maybe just bonding with some of the guys and all that? Yeah, so um, the workouts have been um, the biggest thing with Coach Mick and the staff is just getting every rep perfect and just keeping technique and discipline. And um, when you fatigue, just don't let that affect you because it's all about straining and shocking the muscles, you know? So um, that's, a, that's the biggest thing. And with the Brotherhood, I think I've been – Adjusted well, they've really embraced me, and they haven't treated me like a freshman. They treated me just like as any other player, and especially uh, um, Chase Young, BB Landers, Jonathan Cooper. They've all been really helping me out. How do you think Justin's adjusted for a guy who's still sort of you know, up in the air on his eligibility? Yeah, so um, I've talked to him about it. He doesn't know what the decision is, but um, he uh, he's been he's been handling it well. Coming up here with 
with Ryan, your, your high school teammate. You guys were two of the first commits in this class. Uh -huh. What what has that experience been like so far coming up here with him? Yeah, it's been uh, good having a guy that you've known for a while going through the same thing as you. So um, we weren't really the closest friends in high school, but we uh, we we were friends, I guess. And um, and it's just been helpful having a guy going going with the same thing as you are. Coming up here with Zach too, getting Zach on early signing day. Uh -huh. What's what, what does he bring to that room with you coming into this class at, at that position defensive end? Yeah, we're uh, me and Zach, we're gonna wreck some offensive tackles for the next couple of years. Uh, I'm really, I'm, I mean, I was excited because uh, he's a good, he's a great player, and um, just me and him together, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage. When you see what the rotation was able to do last year with rotating in so many freshmen, no. you guys are both coming in as early enrollees. Do you yeah. see an opportunity to kind of? maybe crack that rotation this year? Mm -hmm. um, that was not one of the like motivating factors, but I thought um, coming in early would help me get a head, jump, like a head start. And um, I know what I can do, and um, I'm not scared. I, I, I'm ready for the competition. I'm uh, ready to show what I can do.